Senator Kennedy's announcement will have a divisive effect within the Democratic Party. One thing I might mention, I think too much significance is being given to the New Hampshire primary because, after all, Senator McCarthy was the only man on the ballot. It has been said that uh, President Johnson's chances will be greatly lessened by this move today. I think it'll have a bad effect within the Democratic Party. As I said, it uh, promotes division rather than unity and harmony. But I think it will be unsuccessful, and I think that President Johnson uh, will have uh, the party pretty well behind him in the last analysis. Those reservists called up here at the Dallas Naval Air Station last January are still here. They haven't left yet. Fighter Squadron 703 was called to active duty after the Pueblo incident. The Crusader Wing, activated for possibly 24 months, has been spending the time getting in shape physically and mentally for whatever. And whatever is just the case. Final orders have not really yet come through. I talked with Commander Frank Liberato. Well, the immediate plans right now are for us to, con from my own standpoint now, are for us to continue here in Dallas uh, for the next few weeks, and then we will continue our training out at Yuma for a few weeks, which is uh, Marine Corps Air Station Yuma, Arizona, is a weapons employment where we will be doing a considerable amount of air-to-air -air gunnery and air-to-ground strafing. Uh, we'll be firing sidewinders. Uh, we'll be firing at high-speed, low-altitude targets. We haven't heard anything at all about uh, how long we're going to be on active duty. We've made our plans uh, in accordance with 24 months. If we are out earlier than that, we should be able to accomplish what we've set out to accomplish. If it's required for us to stay in for the 24 months, then we'll stay in for the 24 months, naturally, and uh, continue to do the best job we can. Morale is high, and many of the men involved take the weekends off to visit their families as if it were any naval shore-based installation. The old Army adage of hurry up and wait is in use, and the men of Fighter Squadron 703 wait and wait and wait. From the Dallas Naval Air Station, this is Lee Salzberger for Channel 8 News. Well, it's the day in Dallas for the wearing of the green, and uh, the ancestors of the old sun in Dallas aren't about to let the poor unfortunate souls who weren't born on the Emerald Isles forget the fact. They turned out in Dallas in strong numbers, as a matter of fact, and with a bit of gusto. In case you've forgotten, St. Patrick is said to be the gentleman who, among other things, drove the snakes out of Grand Old Ireland. And if this noise being wrought by these enthusiastic revelers here on Main Street in Dallas persists, Dallas, too, just may be snakeless in the future. This is Douglas O'Terry reporting.